Today I'm going to show you potential source of boost leaks on the Mitsubishi TD04 turbocharger as fitted to the B207R engine in Saab and a whole host of other engines in a variety of vehicles both across GM and around the world. Top of the turbo inlet here there's a pipe which leads to the uh, crankcase breather on the cam cover. Pull off the pipe from the cam cover, remove this 10mm bolt from the union down here and lift out. You'll see that there is an o-ring on this pipe. If I bring it in closer you can see that with age and heat and compression the o-ring has distorted. It also goes hard and over time that allows an air inlet leak into the top of the turbocharger. That means that uh, the turbocharger is actually pumping more air than the mass airflow sensor is measuring, which can cause running problems. Now to replace this o-ring you'll need one that fits over a 10mm pipe, a 2mm diameter rubber. Now I haven't got one that small. I've cut a slightly larger o-ring down so that it fits around the pipe. Glued the ends together with some Q-Bond. And there's the uh, o-ring that I've made. It fits nicely over the pipe. Put the pipe union back on the top of the turbocharger and tighten down the 10 millimeter screw that holds it in place. Once you've got the recirculating valve off, it comes apart very easily. Lift up the lip from the uh, casing and then take the centre portion out. To further get this apart, simply pull those two apart. Once you've taken it apart, thoroughly inspect the rubber diaphragm for any splits or pinhole leaks. If you find any splits or pinholes, you, you could conceivably make an emergency repair, but really you need to replace the valve. Thoroughly clean down all the parts. The diaphragm has a lip on this side, on the edge, which locates in the cover, and in the middle on the other side, it has a ridge. The outside lip of the diaphragm locates around this periphery, and that inner ridge locates here. By being spring-loaded from behind, this inner ridge is pressed against the uh, turbocharger casing and the outer ridge of the diaphragm seals into this shaped periphery of the uh, valve casing. Another major cause of the boost leak is distortion of this pressing. If you put it on a flat metal surface, on this flat surface, you'll see that I can push the 15 thou which is approximately a third of a millimetre feeler gauge under this uh, centre portion between the fixings. That contributes to the diaphragm in between the fixings not being pressed down sufficiently to hold the boost pressure back and you can get very small boost leaks in the order of 2 or 3 psi in some cases. Before putting the diaphragm back together a little lube in here, then put the diaphragm back together with the spring there and push these two halves back together and they simply clip together like so. How do you make sure that the periphery of the diaphragm seals against both the valve casing and turbocharger casing? And the way I'm going to do that is apply a very thin bead of silicon sealer around the edge of the valve casing. Make sure that the uh, sealer is evenly distributed and that there isn't a huge excess. Put the diaphragm back into the casing and then press it down all around. Additionally I'm going to put a bead of sealer around the diaphragm edge. Be careful not to get any into the middle as an alternative to using sealer, you could cut 
some gasket paper into a gasket to go around here uh, using something like uh, one millimeter thick gasket paper. Very carefully make the valve back up to the turbocharger and finger start the three 10 millimeter bolts. Tighten them all down hand tight with a 10 millimeter socket. Now that we've finished putting the uh, recirculating valve back together, put everything else back in place. And don't forget to put the little breather pipe back in. The one that goes from the uh, cam cover to the top of the turbo inlet. And finally, the air delivery pipe. You'll need a, uh, either a flat blade screwdriver or a seven millimeter socket. Not forgetting, of course, the little vacuum pipe from this valve to the air delivery. The whole job shouldn't take you more than about an hour and hopefully you've cured a boost leak. It may only be small, it may only be infractions of a PSI, but any leak is a leak and it's robbing you of power and economy. So I hope you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, comments down below, give us the benefit of your experience, help out other viewers and I'll see you next time. <laughs>